Good evening and welcome to our Thursday evening, late evening office. Uh, and thank you for those that uh, I'm watching uh, coming online every night uh, to, to be part of this worship. Uh, thank you for that uh, commitment. Um, today, Thursday, has become a, a, a pattern within our country to celebrate and give thanks to uh, our carers uh, in the NHS uh, and other care facilities um, that have devoted so much of their time uh, and energy to the care of those that are sick. Uh, and at eight o'clock on Thursday evenings, we go out and we, we applaud them tonight from, this, from, from now onwards on Thursday nights. The bell of uh, Christ Church will also uh, ring at eight o'clock to acknowledge we as a church want to applaud and our readings tonight um, very much talk about bringing uh, uh, people to God in prayer and giving thanks to God for what he's provided and so today I want to dedicate our time of prayer specifically to our carers our service begins as always on page 162 Blessed be our God for all time, now and forevermore. Amen. Glory to you, our God, glory be to you, Holy Spirit, Comforter, treasure of all goodness and giver of life. Come and dwell in us, cleanse us from all sin, and in your love bring us to salvation. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. The appointed reading for this evening is Psalm 111. Alleluia! I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart, in the company of the faithful and in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great, sought out by all who delight in them. His work is full of majesty and honour, and his righteousness endures forever. He appointed a memorial for his marvellous deeds. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He gave food to those who feared him. He is ever mindful of his covenant. He showed his people the power of his works in giving them the heritage of the nations. The works of his hands are truth and justice. All his commandments are sure. They stand fast forever and ever. They are done in truth and equity. He sent redemption to his people he commanded his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding of those who live by it. His praise endures forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our New Testament reading for uh, tonight is Colossians chapter 4, verses 2 to 5. Devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. And pray for us too, that God may open a door for our message, so that we may proclaim the mystery of Christ, for which I am in chains. Pray that I may proclaim it clearly as I should. Be wise in the way you act towards outsiders. Make the most of every opportunity. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And in that attitude of thanksgiving towards God, in particular for our carers and medics, I'm going to use the words of the Jubilate, or Psalm 100, as our canticle. O be joyful in the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Be ye sure that the Lord, he is God, and he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. O go your way into his gates with thanksgiving, 
and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and speak good of his name. For the Lord is gracious, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth from generation to generation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord with all our heart and with all our soul. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for all Christian people, that they may live in love and truth. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for all ministers of the church and for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for peace throughout the world and for all governments. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for our neighbours and for all our friends. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for those who hate us as we pray for those who love us. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for refugees and prisoners and for all who are exposed to the dangers of travel. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for all sick people, for the sorrowful and the dying. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for the abundance of the fruits of the earth and that the poor and hungry may receive a just share. Lord, have mercy. Let us remember our brothers and sisters who have entered into eternal rest. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. And so let us continue in prayer. Father God, tonight, on this Thursday evening, we want to give thanks to you, Lord, for our many uh, people who give up their time uh, in order to look after those that are in need. In a day particularly, Lord, where uh, the numbers of people who have died as a result of coronavirus in Northern Ireland is at its highest. We therefore pray that you will give uh, patience, that you will give rest, that you will give peace to all those that are very much on the front line caring for those most critically in need. We thank you for their skills. And Lord, we pray that in every situation that they face, that they will have wisdom that not only comes uh, from their own education, but more than anything else, it comes from you. May we have doctors and nurses and medics who know you as Lord and Saviour and can bring that into every situation where we ask, Lord, for your healing power to come into those situations, to come and bring restoration to lives. Lord, we thank you for the stories that we have heard of pastors who have been ill of coronavirus and how they have come through that and how they have expressed their thanks to all the medical staff. But thank you, Lord, for the witness that we have also seen in the hospitals uh, of people who praying to you seeking you have seen restoration in their lives Lord we pray uh, for those in the medical profession who are finding things tough for the risks that they face as they come from uh, hospitals uh, and go back home to their loved ones we pray, Lord, that you will give them the time that it's needed to process everything that they see and everything that they do. Lord, we pray for the work of the chaplains in the hospitals at this time. Uh, and we pray tonight uh, for one that I've had to deal with in recent days, uh, a, a Catholic minister called John, who works in the Macmillan uh, unit uh, up in Macafell. So Lord, would you give John the right words from you to say into tough situations? Would you uh, give him the opportunity uh, to speak of your love and your salvation to people most at need? 
And Lord, tonight at 8 o'clock, as we ring the bell of this church, may we each consider how we should care for each other, for those that are maybe in our neighbourhood. Lord, that maybe a, a simple phone call will make all the difference. So Lord, thank you. Thank you for doctors, for nurses, for uh, anaesthetists, uh, for consultants, for all those that are involved. But finally, Lord, I pray that you will uh, be uh, guiding our uh, researchers um, and those that are involved in trying to find a cure to this virus. Lord, we long for that because we know that until that happens, that we will continually be dealing with um, some part of the world uh, in the middle of a pandemic. So Lord, we pray for a speedy move towards uh, a vaccine that will bring this virus under control. And so, Lord, in all of these things, we finally thank you for our own, own health. And we are so mindful of those tonight, especially those within our parish who have loved ones who are suffering from this dreadful virus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And the collect for the first Sunday of Easter. Almighty God, through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, you have overcome death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life. Grant that, as by your grace going before us, you put into our minds good desires, so by your continual help we may bring them to good effect through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord Almighty, come and scatter the darkness of our hearts by the light of your presence, that we may know you, the light of the world and the one true God, blessed this night and forevermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Almighty and merciful God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Bless us and keep us. Amen. <laughs>